Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters, here today to talk a little bit about, about tips and tricks to help budget for an upcoming move. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how you can prepare for an upcoming move. I recently moved myself, so it was a great reminder of some of those things that that you really need to budget for that most people forget about. In fact, quite frankly, I forgot about a lot of these things myself. So I thought it would be a great reminder for me to be able to pass this along to you as well. Uh, so one of the first things that most people are aware of is your basics. The closing costs, the down payment, all of those expenses. When you get the, when you know what your down payment's gonna be, but typically speaking, there are closing costs as well, and those closing costs can range anywhere between one and 3% of a purchase price. So you wanna be prepared when you're budgeting your down payment allocation that you still have some additional monies for that and also for your inspections uh, and, um, and the appraisal as well. So definitely have some additional money set aside for that. Now, when it comes to the actual moving part, this is where a lot of people tend to forget about some of the costs. Now, first of all, movers. There's a lot of people who just do it themselves, and that's fine. You still have to budget for boxes, packing supplies, uh, a U-Haul or a budget truck of some sort, things like that. And there are also, of course, risks if you bring in friends, what if they drop something, um, they're not insured, things like that if something breaks. So you just want to allow for those unexpected costs in that. And of course, if you're hiring friends, you probably need to plan for pizza and beer money too. If you are going to hire movers, you want to do your research with moving companies. I find that they run the gamut as far as pricing and professionalism. Ideally, if you can have them come out and give you a quote beforehand, that's great. Be very careful if they're just charging by the hour. Uh, it, those hours go by very quickly. I know I used a full eight hours with four guys. So it definitely takes longer than you might think, even if you're packed and ready to go when they show up. And the American Movers and Storage Association actually says that the average in-state move costs about $1,200 just to hire movers. And an out-of-state move is going to cost on average about $5,600. So you definitely need to plan and budget for that. Now, utilities are the next thing. You know, we're so used to paying a certain amount. If we move to a bigger home or a smaller home, those numbers are going to change. Plus, many of the companies do require deposits up front, especially if you're moving to a new area and new service providers. So you want to be prepared that you may have some additional upfront expenses with those uh, deposits. Now you may also have to buy out a contract if you're currently in a cable contract or things like that. You may have to pay for the remainder of the year. So be sure to check before you uh, make your move there. Now the, another thing people don't necessarily factor for is lost wages. If you're having to take time off work to meet movers, to pack boxes, things like that, then that can affect your income as well. So just be sure to watch that and know what's going to happen there. Now, another thing is that something always breaks. In my case, my water heater broke three days after we closed. So I had to get a new one and I was almost a week without a water heater. So there is always going to be something. I swear that new houses know when somebody new moves in and they always have something that breaks on them. There will always be little items like garden hoses, uh, screens, window treatments, things like that, that you walk into that home that you're buying and you don't necessarily see that those things have to be done. But once you start getting down to the uh, nitty gritty, you do have to purchase those things. You may also need shower curtains uh, and all of those little things tend to add up. Now, if you're moving into another area and you need to do some work to the home, Obviously, hopefully you've planned for the um, repairs that you're planning on doing. But if you need to move into temporary housing, you also want to make sure you budget for that as well. And of course, it, when you're moving into a new home, sometimes it's time for some new furniture, new decor. Or if you're moving into a bigger home, you may have rooms that don't have any furniture at all. 
So you may need to buy some new furniture for that and you'll want to plan and budget for that too. I hope this is helpful for you. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends. And of course, if you have any real estate related questions, feel free to give me a call at 562-316-2915 or you can email me at melinda at Thanks so much for watching.